Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dr. Jailbreak with another edition of iOS Inside Track, and today I wanted to show you how to downgrade from 5.1.1 all the way to 5.0 and everything in between. Now, you must have your SH, SH blobs saved either locally on your computer or through Cydia. Now, I'll show you guys how to check that here in a second. You're also going to need the firmware that you want to downgrade to and you also need the new red snow so I will have links for red snow for both Windows and Mac and also where you get the firmware from so once you have everything ready you will uh, you'll want to back up everything via iTunes just in case and I also wanted to show you guys that I'm on 5.1.1 right now then what you're gonna need to do plug in your device and open up red snow click on extras then click on SH SH blobs and to check to see if you have any available blobs on the Cydia server click on query and you're gonna to have to enter your ECID which I'll have a link in the video description that will show you guys how to do that now this only works for the iPhone 4 iPad iPod touch 4th gen 3rd gen and the iPhone 3GS this does not work for the newer iPhone 4S, iPad 2, or the new 3rd gen iPad. So once you're ready and you know that you have your blobs either locally or on Cydia, you're going to want to click on Stitch, click on IPSW, and this is where you're going to point Red Snow to the firmware that you downloaded. So I'm going to use 5.0.1, click Open, and Cydia will be grayed out unless you put your device into DFU mode. So I have SH, SH files saved locally so I'm going to point red snow there and want to find the one for the 5.0.1 click on it and then click open and it will start to combine the blobs with the firmware creating a new firmware that you will use to restore with iTunes right now what you're going to also want to do is shut your device down while it's still connected because you're going to need to put it into honed DFU mode here shortly again make mm -hmm. sure that it is plugged in before turning it off and once it's done it will pop up with this and it will show you the location of the firmware so just click OK now with your phone turned off or your iPad turned off click on back and pwned DFU iTunes will close out then click next and get ready to follow the on-screen instructions to enter DFU mode and now Red Snow will place the device into pwned DFU and you can close that out now what you're going to want to do is point your hosts file towards Cydia's servers in order to spoof your device into thinking Apple has authorized the process so in order to do this you're going to need a text editor so I'm going to use notepad and for Windows users you're going to want to run notepad as administrator if you don't you won't be able to save then go to open and this is where you're going to want to navigate to and for Mac users all you have to do is head over to ETC once you get to this location you're gonna see nothing here click down on this Dropbox click all files and then open up hosts and you're gonna scroll all the way down and you're then going to add this line right here which is 74.208.105.171 space gs.apple.com and then you're just going to save it and you can close out so now once you have your hosts file changed you're going to want to launch iTunes and it'll pop up telling you that it's detected it in recovery mode click OK now for Mac users you're going to do left alt restore and for Windows users you're going to do shift restore and you're just going to locate the IPSW that Red Snow made click open and iTunes will start the restore process and once it gets to around this point it sh iTunes should close out and you should end up getting an error and on the device you should see the recovery logo see right there pops up and closes out so now don't panic all you're going to need to do is open up red snow again and what you're going to actually need to do is put it into DFU mode first so simply hold both the home button and the power button for 10 seconds then continue to hold the home button but let go of the power button for another 10 seconds 
and once you hear both those chimes you are now in DFU mode so then click on extras and recovery fix and Red Snow will take it out of recovery and you should on the device see the downloading jailbreak data followed by the scrolling white text but that's actually it's not jailbreaking so you're gonna actually have to once it's finished restoring use Red Snow again mm -hmm. if you want to jailbreak and then you'll see the running pineapple briefly and once it's done it should boot back up and you should now have to re you know go through the whole entire setup process again on your device and once it has finished booting up slide to unlock and you have now successfully downgraded from 5.1.1 to whichever firmware that you decided so I downgraded to 5.0.1 and there it is software version 5.0.1 now, if you guys want to jailbreak um, in an untethered fashion, you can use Red Snow. So all you have to do, click back, back, then click on jailbreak. iTunes will close out again. Turn off your device, leaving it plugged in. Then click on next and put your device back into DFU mode again. Make sure install Cydia is checked, then click next. You'll start to see the scrolling text again and then you will see the running pineapple and once it has finished rebooting you open it up and you should have Cydia now on your home screen so that's it you have successfully downgraded to a lower firmware and re-jailbroke the device so that's it. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and uh, make sure you guys check out my other videos. And until next time, guys, cheers.